Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an update what's going on with those earthquakes there on the Big Island. It looks like most of the magma that is still moving um, into the system is uh, still quite deep. Fisher 8, there was a 2.0 earthquake along that location. That earthquake would have been about 1,060 feet below sea level, quite shallow. There was a magnitude 1.9 there by the summit of Mauna Loa. That too was quite shallow. That would have been about 1.3 miles below sea level. And I've talked about uh, down here by Palalala how the magma system comes up in this location then travels up to Mauna Loa. It's about 5.20 a.m. Uh, local time there in Hawaii. Here's an image of the uh, Puna geothermal power plant. It currently is still not operating and they still have plans to get it operating this year after all the permits are approved and the uh, high voltage power lines are reattached. The power plant has been shut down since May of 2018 after the eruption of Kilauea. Currently, the production of oil-fired generators are making up for the loss um, of power from this plant. From the latest that I've read, they are still waiting approval to have the power transmission lines um, approved to hook up to the plant. Assuming that is approved and other repairs are done to the facility, they are expecting this power plant to go back online this year, 2020. In the last week, there's been 90 earthquakes on this earthquake map. And there hasn't been any felt reports that I can find for earthquakes in this location on the Big Island. Yeah, um, the power plant started production in 1990, I believe, somewhere in there. So what are your thoughts? I think more uh, research needs to be done before they're allowed to go back online. Please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.